So this is the largest product in a grid problem and it looks something like this. So it says in the 20 times 20 grid below, so there's 20 columns and 20 rows, uh, it says the four numbers along a diagonal line have been marked in red. So we have this one, this one, this one and this one and they're a diagonal line going like this. And it says the product of these numbers is 26 times 63 times 78 times 14. So we could just multiply these together. So 26 times 63 times 78 times 14. And that's equal to um, 1,788,696. And the problem we have is that what is the greatest product of four adjacent numbers in the same direction? And we can have them going up like this, we can have them going down like this, we can have them going left like this, um, right, or like diagonally like this, or diagonally like that. So that's that's the directions in a given array grid. So basically the input of this will be a nested array that looks something like this. And the function that we're going to be implementing is called um, largest grid product. So let's write that out here. So I'll say let largest grid product equals and it takes in um, I guess an array and yeah that's our function right here and what I've also done is I've just copied the um, nested arrays in here like this um, so we have grid and then we have this test grid I think this is just a free code cam one but the official grid is this one right here and if you want to grab that you can just click on the uh, written guide and then just copy and paste it from there and in terms of testing, I'm just going to have something like console.log result is and then log the um, largest grid product. And to start off with, um, I think it said something like uh, for test grid, it should be this one. So we'll start doing it with test grid. So now we're ready to get started and the strategy that we're going to go with for this is just we're going to keep it simple basically. Um, we'll go through each, um, I guess we'll go through each cell pretty much. We'll just go from cell, this cell to this cell right here and we'll do the product this way, product this way, product this way and product this way from each of the cells. And basically we'll just keep a running, to a running number that uh, records the largest product that we found so far. So I'll just show you how it works. It will become clearer later on. So the first thing we'll have is the largest product. And I'm going to initialize this to zero. And then I'm going to return it at the end of our function. Nope, not that one. That one right there. And uh, just to verify that this is uh, indeed working, let's just um, run this in node. Yeah, and we can see that zero is being returned. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna have is this value called, um, we'll have these two values to iterate through the rows and columns. So row will represent the current row, remember these are index zero, and column will represent the current column as we go through each of these cells right here. And we'll also have a value called the max offset. And the max offset is basically um, how far uh, we want to count from each of the cells. So since we're looking for the four adjacent cells, we wanna go three in whatever direction we're doing. So if we were looking at this one and we were counting to the right, we'd wanna make sure that we go three cells to the right. If we were looking at this one and we wanna go down and we want the four adjacent ones, we wanna make sure we go three times down. So it's basically how many extra iterations we're going to be doing. And I'm gonna set that to three since it's asking for the four adjacent ones. And now we're going to have a nested for loop that goes through each of these cells right here. So the first one I'll have is for row equal to zero. Row is less than, um, and remember that this is a nested array. So the number of rows is basically going to be equal to the length of that array. So I'm going to call it array.length. And in each iteration, we want to make sure that we increase the row counter. And inside it, we want to go in for each row, we want to go through each of the, these columns right here. So we'll say for column equals zero, column is less than, and the length of the columns is basically going to be um, the length of each of the elements in our nested array. So each of these elements is a row and 
the the number of columns is basically the length of those rows and this is a 20 by 20 grid but I'm gonna just have it um, to take the length from the array so I'll go with array 0 dot length so that'll be the length of one of the rows and we want to increase the column each on each iteration as well so then um, I'm gonna just basically write out a process that basically multiplies together all the adjacent values to the right and then we can basically just replicate this process for each of the directions that we want to search so the first thing I'm gonna do is just get the value of the current cell and I'm just gonna call this cell equals and the way we access that is we can say array row column like this so remember these this for loop iterates through each row and column so in each iteration of this nested for loop we'll just get the value of whatever cell we're on so at first cell will be 8 then cell will be 2 then cell will be 22 and finally cell will be 48 like that so we have the value cell right here and we're also going to have a, val a, a value called product and the product is basically um, the product of the cell um, in whatever in the product of all the cells in whatever direction that we're going so um, this will become clear later on as well and then we'll also have i and j and i and j basically allow us to um, look through the rows and columns next to whatever our cell is just to multiply the numbers together so the first thing we're going to do is multiply the numbers horizontally uh, to the right of each of the cells so we'll start off with this one and then do these four and then we'll end up finishing with this one and doing these four and we only have to do them to the right because this right here from left to right multiplied together is the same as from right to left multiplied together so what we'll do here is by we'll set product to cell and then what we can do is we can say for um, i equals one i is less than max offset i plus plus and in terms of um, going to the right, all we want to do is basically increase the column by uh, i each time. So we'll start off with i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals th 3, up to the max offset. So that's what we're going to be doing. And all we're going to say is if array row and So this is basically checking if the um, if which whatever uh, column that we're selecting does exist. Because if we were to go to this one and we try to go to the right, we'd get an out of index error. So this is just to make sure that it exists. And then what we can say is product equals product multiplied by, and then we can just multiply it with this right here. And then if this is if if we are at the end, we just want to break. So I know that was a bit unclear, so I'll explain that again. So what this essentially does is we'll, inc we'll go from i equals 1 to i equals 3. And each time if on the same row the column plus i exists, then we want to multiply that into our product right here. So this product will, st for example, start off as 8, then it will become 8 times 2, then, it then it'll become that, whatever that was, times 22, then it will become whatever that was, times 97. And the reason that we do this check right here is if we would on this one, for example, we'd go to i equals 1, i equals 2, and then we'd get an out of um, index error. So we want to make sure that um, we take care of that. And if that's the case, we just break out. So the product now will be uh, whatever the values multiplied to the right of each cell was. So we've searched horizontally now. So the next thing to do is search vertically. So we want to set... Um, Actually, one thing we want to do here is we want to say uh, if product is greater than largest product, then we want to make sure that we set largest product to product. Okay, so we've searched horizontally now. So now we're going to search vertically. And we're only going to be searching vertically downwards because, again, um, this right here, 99 times 31 times 95 times 16 is exactly the same as 16 times 95 times 31 times 99. So we're just going to go downwards here. And um, in terms of what we're doing here is we'll still have i going three times, but instead of changing the uh, column this time, we're going to be changing the row. So we're going to stick to the same column, but we're going to keep the row 
we're going to change the row. So again, we want to do row plus i, and then we want to just leave this as column. So what this will do is it will start with 8, and then it will do 8 times 49 times 81 times 52. Then it will go on to 2, and then 2 times 49 times 49 times 70. And again, if we were here, for example, it would do 54 times 48. And if it's about to go out of the index, it will just break out like we did here. And once again, if the product that we found vertically is greater than the largest product, then we want to make sure that we update the largest product. So now that we've done it horizontally and vertically, we just need to do it um, diagonally. And there's two directions that we're going to be doing um, diagonally. So we have to do uh, this one right here, which is top left to bottom right. And then we also have to do bottom left to top right. They're the two diagonal directions. And again, we only have to do those two because 8 times 49 times 31 times 23 is the same as 23 times 31 times 49 times 8. So. In terms of what we're doing when we go diagonal, let's start off with the top left to bottom right. So in each iteration here, what we want to do is we want to increase the column by one, and we also want to increase the row by one. So if we start with eight, increase the row and column by one, we get 49. Again, increase the row and column by one, we get 31, and so on. So what we want to do here is instead of uh, doing just row plus i, we want to also make sure that we do um, row plus i and column plus i this time. And again, if we get get to somewhere like here, and then we can't, we can do one plus one, and we can't get it goes out of index here. It will again just break out, and again we'll update the largest uh, product. And the final thing that we want to do is basically do um, the other diagonal direction, and that was um, bottom left to top right. And in terms of bottom left to top right, if we was on this cell for example. We want to make sure that we increase the column by one, but we want to minus the row by one because we're going upwards. So what we want to do here is increase uh, minus the row by one. So we want to do row equals row uh, row minus i each time, and we want to make sure that the column is uh, column plus i like this. So this will start off with it won't do anything for this one right here, then it will do 49 times 2, 49 times 22 and so on, then it will do 81 times 49 times 22, then it will do 52, 49, 99, 97. So for each cell it will multiply, if possible, the numbers um, diagonally top right to fit four times. And again, if the product is greater than the largest product, we'll simply update it. And that's pretty much it for the whole algorithm. And at the end, basically what we'll do is we'll go through each cell. We'll multiply diagonally, uh, vertically, and horizontally in all directions. And we'll update the largest product uh, if we find a greater product. And eventually, at the end, we'll return it. So let's test this now. So the, the first one for test query should be 14169081. So if we go to that one. Um, actually, I probably made a mistake here, so I'll just check this out. Okay, so I just figured out the error. This part i here should be less than or equal to the max offset, because right now what it's doing is it's only multiplying um, the cell through adjacently twice, because the i is currently less than 3, but we want to make sure that it's e less than or equal to the max offset. So if I do that now, we should see that we get the correct solution right here. So we do have a working solution, so let's uh, test it for the grid as well. And I've defined grid as grid, so I can just replace this right here with grid. There we go. And if I run this now, we can see that we do get the uh, answer 7060674 right here. So again, what this solution does is it will go through each cell and then it will multiply that cell's value by um, the values adjacent to it uh, horizontally to the right, vertically downwards, diagonally from top left to bottom right, and diagonally from bottom left to top right. And that's done using this um, nested for loop right here which goes through each of the cells and then another set of um, nest for loops as well to go to multiply the cell together. So let's uh, submit the solution now so we can just copy that and we can basically uh, paste it right here and in terms of the official problem it's basically looking for um, the same grid that we had before so we can just copy um, the answer from our program, so it's this one right here.
and paste it into here to submit that to be checked and this should also work as well so if we run it we can see that the code has been accepted and we can go ahead and submit this and uh, if we go to the original problem we can see that we have the check and we submitted the right answer so that is problem 11 completed right there